Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 30th to the 1st. So September 30th to the 1st, this is for whoever it resonates for, okay? Sunday, Monday. What do we have? Oh, goodness gracious. A sudden event. Something is going to suddenly happen, okay? There could be some sort of rude awakening. Oh my goodness. So it looks as though there's some sort of loss of control, okay, a loss of power here. There could, you could get some communication that hurts. There's some sort of loss of control. Something is, something is uh, hurting. Okay. Definitely something is hurting. There's going to be some, you might receive a message from somebody that, um, causes a major disruption in your plans or a disruption in your day or something. So we do have, we have something, somebody's not being honest. Somebody's not telling the truth. There's a dishonest person here. Okay, somebody is not telling the truth in a situation. Um, there's a lack of awareness, okay? Somebody's not seeing something clearly because somebody is not, you're dealing with somebody who's untrustworthy. Somebody's hiding the truth. Somebody is hiding the truth, but it feels as though you know it. It's not like you don't know it, because you do. I feel like there could be an opportunity for some sort of reunion. that you are reluctant to engage in. <laughs> I see reluctance here. Um, I feel like somebody has gone through some sort of midlife crisis and now perhaps they're ready to come out of hiding and offer, make an offer to you. Somebody is, is, is willing to come out and make an offer of love. They've evolved. They've changed. They work, they've worked hard to deal with their own conflicts. And I feel as though perhaps that's where this, this event comes in. Perhaps you receive communication from somebody that has really hurt you. Somebody has hurt another person. Um, via perhaps narcissistic behavior, okay, and um, now they probably maybe they have decided that they don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to. I want to come together. I. I want to offer you my love. I. Uh, I see what this is, and I, I'd like to have a reunion. So. You know, you could be receiving some sort of, of offer from somebody in regards to, to love. You could. You could. This could be somebody that had lied to you in the past. Okay, this person may have lied to you in the past and um, 
now they want to come clean. Maybe they've had a rude awakening. Maybe they've, been, they've had some sort of epiphany, perhaps. Maybe something has crashed in their life that has woken them up, okay? Um, I feel like somebody is, has now made or has, is or has made a decision to perhaps follow their heart. Uh, you know, that, that could certainly be the case. Looks like somebody has, has really made a decision to offer their heart. Okay, they they've they're, they've come around. There's there's been some sort of like transformation here, but I think this transformation was a long time coming, and perhaps I'm not sure if it's too late or what. Because I feel like now I was just saying I don't know if it's too late or what when the when the camera started beeping. So you know I feel you know and then you know what it was it was my memory card was full. It was full. There was you couldn't put any more on it. So and it's funny because I just got done saying I don't know if it's too late or what. And, you know I feel like somebody has had some sort of rude awakening, and they may be coming with an offer now. They may be coming with an offer. They may have because this could be gifts. They may be like you know what I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to step outside of my shell. I've been enlightened. I've evolved. I understand. I get it. You know the whole nine yards. And this is reluctance. You may be reluctant because you're angry. You're angry. It may be too late. You know, you may be like, you know what? You you, you took too long. You you took you did. You took too long. This this is usually upright. This is this guy's moving quickly, but in the reverse, there's no there's no rush. No rush to be honest, no rush to tell the truth. You know, that you can only people only wait around for so long. Um, so I feel like the, somebody has decided they've made a, a solid firm decision to probably make an offer but it's probably it could be a little too late it could be a little too late so Yeah, you may fear that, you know, you may be reluctant, should I say fear, same kind of thing, your reluctance is fear. You may be reluctant to believe what is being offered. It's like, no, I don't believe you're telling me the truth. I don't, I don't believe it. Somebody is believe is not is in disbelief. There's there's a lack of truth here. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Um, yeah, because this is ungrounded. It's like where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I don't I don't believe this for a second. And I feel like you know there's some sort of secret that is about to be revealed. Somebody is going to tell you how they feel. But you may feel like this is absolutely unstable, it's insecure, you're not telling me the truth, why are you doing this, you know, what are you trying to do, you're trying to take back your control, you know, why have you taken so long, you know, there's going to be some questioning here, there is going to be some questioning here. I feel like somebody is about to, there's going to be some sort of event or epiphany that reveals some sort of truth and it probably is going to cause an uproar it's going to cause an uproar it is something is going to be revealed that causes an uproar and may th make make you feel like things are a little chaotic you know that's what happens when we have a tower moment things get a little chaotic people get, act a little crazy because it's like oh my god where did this come from so i think that's what this energy is it's like where is this coming from it's like all of a sudden all of a sudden you have this love to offer me and this person says well i've changed i've changed i've evolved i i get it you know i was wrong i I'm sorry i didn't tell you the truth i'm sorry that i couldn't open my heart i i'm sorry you know, they say whatever they got to say, but I feel like you, you might be the one that says, you know, 
Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? You took so long. Um, yeah, somebody is offering an apology. I think that somebody is coming back with an apology after they had taken a break. Okay, somebody is coming in with an apology, and you may be like, <laughs> what? What are your motives? What are your motives? I mean, I mean what are your motives? Do you, is this is, is this about love or or what? What is this? Or is it about control? Is it about love or is it control? I mean, what, what what are the motives here? So I feel like, you know, you have somebody that's is a, that's coming in with an offer that you have probably waited way too long for. And I don't know if it's too late. That door might already be closed. Ego. This is a card of ego. In the upright. Maybe somebody is stepping out of their ego in reverse. That could be the case. You know, I'm sorry. I love you. Now, nines are closure. Nine, nine. That's closure of ego. I've been enlightened. <laughs> find that too good to be true. Yeah, I feel like somebody has some regrets over their loss. Disappointed. And now they want to come down off of that mountain and perhaps have a reunion with you. You know, they're 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 facing it. It's like I'm ready to face it. I'm ready to stand up. I'm ready to face this struggle. But I'm not sure this person is being honest with the Knight of Swords reversed and the Ace of Swords reversed. This is like lack of honesty, dishonesty. Ooh. So, you know, I feel like you may be a little bitter. You may be a little bitter towards this person. It is a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection. And I feel like you are probably going to be asked to be open-minded. This person may ask you to be open-minded at this time. Because they've had an awakening. They've had an awakening. Something has happened in their life that has caused them to become more logical in areas of the heart you know what I'm saying so I feel like they're coming in with an offer and you don't think it's solid you're probably like yeah I don't know I don't know if I don't I don't know if I can trust you you don't feel like this person is trustworthy because they they did the detached they detached for so long Pisces, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we do have a soulmate connection here. Um, I feel like somebody is, there's going to be some sort of revelation. Something has been going on behind the scenes and it is going to be revealed probably on this day. I mean, with the moon right over the high priestess, there's some sort of secret is probably going to be revealed. Something had somebody has been keeping it inside. And they have been unable to focus and unable to concentrate and unable to feel secure and unable to prosper because of it. And the only way for their situation to change for the better is to come clean. So somebody may be wanting to offer you an apology and love. 
who this reading is for, I do not know. It will not resonate with everybody. But it feels as though there has been some massive deception in regards to how I really feel. How I really feel. And perhaps somebody has come through, had some sort of rude awakening that has enlightened them to the power of love. So perhaps you will receive some communication or a message or an apology from somebody that has really changed. <laughs> That's a perhaps. That's a perhaps. You know, I don't know who that one is for. I'm going to shut that off in just a second. Thirtieth to the first, a message for the collective. It looks like somebody is coming out of their shell to speak their truth after hiding it for so long. The power of love. The power of love. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. They're going to ask you to forgive them. They are. They're going to ask you to look at this situation from a new perspective. They've changed. They've been enlightened. They know that they were dishonest with you. Um, and they don't want this door to close. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's up ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. I feel like for some of you, somebody may be relinquishing control for love. Hope it's for you. I'm sure it's not for me. 